Good morning, everyone. It is a wonderfully chilly morning here in Zion. And uh, I drove to a little bit of a different area. And the fall color here is, is quite nice. Um, some trees are past prime, others are still a bit green. And one of the things I'm excited about is the potential of uh, photographing some subjects on the ground. Some fallen leaves and other things along those lines. And I think right now there's a very nice mixture of that. The skies are mostly blue, though there's a little bit of clouds up there, and it's probably going to cloud up again in the afternoon, much like it did uh, yesterday. So that's just fine because this area gets some really strong reflected light that's perhaps even a bit too strong at times, so maybe a little diffusion can help with that. But I'm going to keep wandering here and uh, see if anything catches my eye. But there's just such beauty all around. This is why I love Zion. <laughs> I know I say that a lot, but truly a beautiful place when I'm not running into trees and stuff. So I found my first composition for the day. And I set up my camera here with my 240 millimeter lens using a horizontal composition. And I'm photographing this scene back behind me here with this beautiful maple tree in perfect fall color. And the foreground has this really nice little meadow of grass that's laid down and nice color contrast between the grass and the sandstone wall behind it. And then also the yellow leaves on the maple. And I exposed a sheet of Provia 100F using a warming filter and also a sheet of Velvia 50. And the exposure times were between 6 and 12 seconds uh, with different film stocks. And uh, the wind was really calm, which is, which is really nice. Overhead the skies are mostly blue, just a little bit of clouds up there, not a heck of a lot. And the beauty of where I am right now is that there's this massive cliff you'll see all the way up in there and the sun is going to be hiding behind that for the entirety of the day so i'm going to have reflected light all afternoon into the early evening really um, and so i think my next uh, potential composition will be more so at the foot of that tree over there because there's some areas with some of these long grasses that are laid down with maple leaves just sprinkled among it which i think will look beautiful and i'll have a a really long window of reflected light, just as long as the clouds uh, don't build up too much. But it's so calm and quiet and beautiful here. I will say also on the way in, I found some paw prints on the trail. And it was either from a bobcat or a young mountain lion. Um, I'd rather it be a bobcat because if it's a young mountain lion, it means a mama mountain lion's nearby and we don't want that. Absolutely beautiful morning here in Zion.
Well, I went ahead and moved my camera over here to the other side of this grassy little meadow. And over here, there's some long grasses that are really moundy and weighted down because uh, there was some snow that came through here probably about two weeks ago. It's just a unusual early autumn snowstorm. And so it weighted everything down, but now there's a mixture of some fall leaves that are mixed up in there. And so I use the same lens as the previous composition and just framed, uh, just kind of framed the chaos of it all and try to utilize the movement of the grass and exposed a sheet of Provia 100F in the nice soft reflected light like this right here. And then a cloud went over and it um, deadened the light a little bit. I uh, waited for that cloud to pass over and then I exposed a second sheet of Provia 100F, this time with a warming filter. Because I'm still trying to learn when and when not to use a warming filter so this will be uh, interesting to see. But really excited about you know photographing a second scene here. And uh, just a beautiful morning here. There's a little breeze, a little bit of clouds in the sky. I figure I should get my camera packed up and do a little more wandering around and then I think I might head back to camp and uh, do a little more exploring in some of the areas where I was yesterday. But absolutely fantastic to expose some film on two different subjects this morning. That feels great. Well, it was just after 4 p.m. and I came to a little area I like to call Mountain Lion Mesa, and for good reason. I shot a photo here last year, and every time I come here I find mountain lion tracks. And they're in sand, which means they're basically from the night before. And while I was wandering around I found more and more of them until I found like this highway of mountain lion tracks, which is a little unnerving. Um, they're very elusive creatures and they like to avoid people, but just knowing that I'm wandering around and that there is an active mountain lion in the area is, yeah, it's a little unsettling. So uh, I never like to be in these parts, uh, dawn and dusk, because that's when they're most active and I just don't want to put myself in that situation. But it was really great earlier today, um, taking a photo of that maple in the canyon and then the grasses. And it's amazing how a place like Zion can have such harsh and grand terrain like where I am right now, but then these little pockets of just lush terrain with just the trees and grasses and plants and everything. So it's one of the reasons I keep coming back here again and again. I think I'm going to keep wandering around a little bit, see what else I could find. The skies are very blue right now, which is a little bit of a change in the pattern from the, fat, from the past few days where it was uh, clear in the mornings and then clouds would build through the afternoon would build in quite thick in the evenings and then they dissipate after sunset. But I think tomorrow we're gonna have a lot more blue sky because the pattern has shifted here a little bit. But I'm gonna keep wandering around here and I'm gonna try not to smell too delicious, which is pretty easy to do because this is uh, six days now without a shower, so you can check that box. But uh, absolutely gorgeous here in Zion, that's for sure. Exposing those sheets of film that morning provided a profound sense of accomplishment, one that carried forward through the rest of the day. I felt no need to point my camera at anything else and simply enjoyed the sights and the sounds around me. This is one of the things I love about shooting large format. My first photo that day was a difficult scene to compose, mostly because of the two large pine trees near either edge of the photograph. I did my best to balance them within the composition though their looming presence adds tension to an otherwise calm subject. Of the three sheets of film I exposed, only one was taken when the wind was absolutely calm. Overall, I'm quite pleased with how this one turned out. The photo of the flowing grass sprinkled with autumn leaves is my favorite image of the entire trip. Although this was a chaotic subject, I was pleased to find a composition with a strong diagonal emphasis. I photographed the scene with and without a warming filter, and although both versions are just fine, I prefer the version without the filter. Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you around 
next time. If you enjoy this ad-free and clickbait-free content and want to help me live my dream, a voluntary contribution of just $24 a year helps keep my gas tank full and my film freezer stocked. For more information on how to support me and my work, please visit the donation section of my website at benhorn.com donate. I also have prints in my portfolio box set available on my website. You can find a direct link down below in the show notes. Thanks in advance for your support.